Hey everybody, my name is Simon and today I'll be showing you a few different techniques on how you can enhance your mix. Uh, specific elements or the entire mix. I'll be going through both. And I will be using both EQ, compression, but also distortion, one of my favorites, to make this effect appeal in the mix. Uh, so let's jump straight into the computer and see what we have. So I have a few different things I want to show you guys. Um, and I think we start with the easy ones that I really like. They're just very intuitive and quick. Uh, there's no learning curve really. They're just straight ahead, go nuts, listen. Uh, and that's one of my favorite plugins from Greg Wells. He's a great mixer and he's done a collaboration with Waves a plugin called uh, Mixcentric. It's basically a compressor, EQ, and uh, Exciter all in one. And it's a, it's a great plugin. Um, and uh, just to show you what I've done, I've, I've basically just added a little bit of the intensity, just small amounts. But if you look at the input levels, it's feeding a lot of um, uh, input to the plugin. So you can tell that it's getting a lot of information as is. So that's why I haven't pushed on the intensity of the plugin. So let's listen before. So and then we'll listen after. So you can tell it does something, it's, it's like small increments, it's doing some compression, it's doing some EQ, adds a little bit of those snares, um, yeah, great, great plugin. Uh, another really nice technique that I learned uh, is using the amazing FabFilter Pro MB, the multiband compressor. So I've basically set up that the high band is reacting the same way as the low band. And in this case, it's a easy switch. In the expert menu, you switch toggle from band to free, and then you select what frequency bond you want it to react like. In this case, I've just uh, cycled through the lower region. And then I've, it's, it's a matter of tweaking the threshold so that you get the pumping effect in the lower band and in the higher band in a pleasant way. And also you can exper experiment with the range as well. You can push the range a bit different if you want to change the tone of the mix. Uh, in this case, I just want to tame the mids and push them a little bit more in volume. Uh, but also I want the movement going on with uh, the higher band and the lower band, which does a great thing to the mix. It sort of enhances the important stuff, but still makes it flowy and nice, giving some sheen and also adding that fat bottom end. But you have to be careful not to overdo it. That's my only recommendation. So let's listen with and without. We start with... back on Off. so it basically tames the mids which is sort of the most important part of the mix because that's where every speaker will, will at least shine in some degree so in in this case this felt like a great technique to do um, but it depends from mix to mix so one of the other great techniques that I want to show you guys is a great EQ plugin. Um, it's called Clarophonic. It basically pushes the important frequencies within the mids to make uh, the source more clear. And you can add presence, sheen, shimmer, or silk. It's like just different words for different EQ curves. Uh, but you have to toggle between them and see what you like or not. In this case, I've used the shimmer effect, which you can see here the toggle is on shimmer uh, and up there. Uh, but I play around with this all the time. You can also use, uh, you can diffuse or tighten it, the focus. Uh, you can lift it. All these different presets 
is something you, you'll play along with. And that's what I like with this plugin because it's sort of, there's no telling of what the actual plugin does. You just have to play around with it and use your ears to decide what you like and what you don't like. Uh, so let's start with it on, on the lead vocals. And let's turn it off. So if we solo the vocal, you can hear it on. High above the clouds, I'm tripping on sun. Swaying on the roof, I'm not coming down when it's so bad. High above the clouds, I'm tripping on sun. Swaying on the roof, I'm not coming down when it's so bad. So in this case, I use, use it with moderation, but it's a great plugin to add that extra punch within the mids. So next up, I will show you a more drastic way of adding presence, and that's this great little plugin called OTT, and it's based on it's based on a compressor preset that's made in I think it's Ableton. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but this is an over over the top compressor. That's basically what the OTT stands for. The important parameters to sort of toggle within this plugin is the depth. It's not that like the regular plugin, but the depth per percentage is sort of a mix knob, I would say, basically. It's more of a how much of the compression do you want. If you put this on 0%, it won't give you the effect at all. 100%, uh, you will smash the hell out of whatever you have in front of it. So, and also within this preset, uh, you have the different bands. Uh, you have the low band, the mid band, and the high band. And here you can actually push uh, more of the mids, which I've done here, or, or lower them depending on what frequencies you want to enhance within the plugin. In this case, it's a slide guitar. Fun little thing. And listen with it. Now without. Just to show you how it sounds in the maxed out. So you can really go crazy with this one. It's a great plugin. And I use it for vocals, I use it for guitars. Whenever I want a lot of compression or change the tone, really, if I want to add that excitement, I'll go for the OTT. Uh, another great example for that is a Camel Crusher, which does sort of similar things. It's a great, great plugin as well. Um, moving on, I want to show you guys what you can do in parallel. And this is kind of important because this technique I use both for vocals, I use this for bass, I use this for tons of different things. So <clears throat> let's do an example. I'll be going through using actually um, dynamics in this case. So in this example, I've set up a bus uh, where I have the JST clipper. And a clipper is basically something in between a limiter and a compressor. What I've wanted to achieve was the effect of gluing the kick and the bass more together within the mix. So I've set it up like I've sent the kick to this JST clipper uh, maxed out to zero. Uh, and I've sent it pre-fader. Uh, and I've done the same thing to the bass. In this case, I did it only to the 808, I think. Um, and I did full volume there as well. So uh, what this will actually do is it will add more of the mid frequencies and the lower mid frequencies is basically what I'm looking for. You could go for, a, you could go for using like a max bass or something instead. But in this case, I preferred using the JST Clipper because um, I liked I liked it to be more grittier. Um, so yeah, let's listen to the drum and the bass with the Clipper on, and then let's toggle it off and see how it sounds.
And if we listen to uh, the sub clip um, bus here, just see how it sounds. Uh, so you get a sort of vision of what it's actually doing. So it's, so it's adding a lot of harmonics, a lot of um, mids, but what I really wanted was the lower mid to, to give that extra punch um, for the entire mix. So in this last example, I'm going to do uh, distortion and I will use it in parallel. Uh, this mix is, is actually finished, so I feel like it doesn't really need more of the distortion as is. But for the fun of it, let's just show what I would typically do to the vocal to get that extra sheen, but also not, not get, get rid of adding a lot of more EQ because in some cases adding more EQ will, will just make it sound worse. So in this case, I'll be using the decapitator and I will send this in parallel. And most of the times I actually start with a basic uh, vocal uh, preset called Angry Vox. It oftentimes sounds good depending on how much output the vocalist is giving uh, in his take. This will sound too much or too little. So I will play play around with the drive a lot to determine uh, where the where the distortion should sit because I don't want to overdo it. I want to add the extra sheen on the vocal basically. So let's just hear how it sounds and blend it to taste. High above the clouds, I'm tripping on sun Swaying on the roof, I'm not coming down when it's so bad Yeah, yeah. Well, Let's just listen to the effect High above the clouds, I'm tripping on sun Swaying on the roof, I'm not coming So it, it's, a, it's adding a lot of mids and uh, a, lot, a lot of extra sheen as well, um, which is nice In this case, I'm pretty happy where the mix is at but um, yeah, that's also a great technique to use and just play around with the mix. Let's see if we can put this level where it should be sitting. There's where I would probably put it. Uh, it all depends on the mix. In this case, it's kind of a busy mix and I'm very happy where it is. Um, shout out to my friends, Joe and the Anchor for letting me uh, showing off uh, one of their great songs, So Bad. Uh, link in the description for the song. So there's a few of my techniques that I use to enhance my mixes. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and please uh, comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good one. Bye.